Small businesses are optimistic about the final outcome of the tax reform bill, hoping it will boost their bottom line. One America's Kindle Forward has more from Washington. Less money to Washington and more money back in the pockets of business owners and workers. That's the meat behind both the House and Senate's tax reform plans and what leaders of the House and Job Creators Network say will boost the economy. Anytime that you have less money going to the hands of politicians in D.C., right, and more money back into the hands of our business owners or job creators, it's a good day. Alfredo Ortiz, president of the Job Creators Network, has been working with small business owners and House members on tax reform. His thoughts reiterate Speaker Ryan's plans to grow the economy. When you get our tax rates down on our businesses as deeply as we're dropping them in the bill we're proposing, that's good for everybody. That's good for jobs, it's good for wages, it's good for economic growth. Ortiz and a group of small business owners recently met with Ryan and other GOP leaders to support the House tax plan by sending nearly half a million letters to Congress as well as giving their feedback. He says they'd like to see professional services also benefit from tax reform. Especially in the professional services area. Uh, we do think those are job creators as well and while the optics of possibly giving you know, the breaks of some of these, you know, lobbyists and, you know, the big K Street type lawyers. That's really not the focus of this bill. But, you know, these are job creators like the dentist. I mean, I went there a couple weeks ago, right? I asked them, how many people do you employ? Twelve people. And so I think there's a lot of opportunity there. Ortiz is optimistic that will turn out in the final bill as a result of the Senate's efforts. He also counters the popular argument that tax reform should only be for the middle class, saying when corporations benefit, the millions of small businesses he represents also benefit. 29 million small businesses employ 56 million people, says Ortiz. Polls by Job Creators Network show they're excited for tax reform so they can reinvest back into their businesses and communities. Imagine if only just 10 percent of those, let's say 3 million of those businesses, employ just one more person. That's another 3 million people that would be, you know, put out there to, you know, to actually get work. Uh, and it'd be a great opportunity for this country and it really would turbocharge our country. Again, Ortiz argues that tax brackets that help out big corporations would also benefit small businesses as well. The idea is as big business grows, everyone grows. Reporting in Washington, Kendall Forward, One America News.